Hey everybody, James Slattery here with another uh, SEO presentation uh, from my SEO professional buddies. Um, today is uh, Google My Business Client Review Cards. I just did about 20 client review cards for new clients. It is a part of our process for our clients to try to get real reviews. Um, and there is a good way to go about it so that you have the highest rate of success. I know how popular fake reviews are. Um, I steer clear of them for a large part. Um, real reviews are where it's at um, as far as they're the highest quality review you can get. There's definitely a place for you know fake reviews, etc. But you know this is going about getting real reviews from real clients. So uh, when doing client review cards uh, for Google My Business, I recommend that there's three necessary components. Uh, first is to uh, for your clients to teach their clients how to leave a good review, and that it's not about just leaving five stars and hey, Fred is great or you know awesome. That's not a good review. Good review uh, is all about justifications. You know that's our SEO side, but uh, making it simple for the client to tell their clients, you know, how to leave a good review, spell it out for them. You know, put it right onto the card. Say, mention my business exactly as it's written on Google My Business. Mention the services used. Say, you know, he did tree pruning or stump grinding or whatever the business does. And then mention a geographic area. The client's geographic area. So the business is in Nanuet, New York, and the client is in Pearl River. The client should be mentioning, oh, he did stump grinding at my home in Pearl River. And, you know, mention the business name, service, geographic area, and that's a home run review. Okay. Uh, the second thing is a shortened version of your review link. So I use Bitly for that. We'll go into that real quick. And uh, your review link is a link that you can give to a client uh, for their clients to be able to uh, quickly and easily leave a review. It brings them right to the review screen, and they don't have to click anything additional. It's waiting for the number of stars. It's waiting for their review, and it's waiting for them to click to post a review. Simple. But a lot of people leave it out, and they try to get people to go to all different crazy URLs and you know, do this, do that. You start getting clients to jump through hoops, they're not going to go. The last thing is QR code, something that I've recently added, and it's a home run. Um, that's the way to get mobile reviews. Uh, that's the way to get people to quickly and easily do reviews. And again, you know, if you do the QR code of your shortened review link, it's going to jump right into the review on their phone, and they're going to quickly and easily drop you a five-star review with a proper uh, review, uh, text, etc. And then I'm going to go over where to get them printed and quickly, easily, and cheaply. Okay. Now, this is where you go to get the client, uh, the review link uh, generator. So it's WhiteSpark. Uh, Google it, whitespark.ca, Google review link generator. And in this area, you type out the name of your business and you, it has predictive type. So as you type, it will finish it off. That's what you want. You don't want to type in your whole business and then say, make my review link because it's not going to match up with your business. Uh, make sure that it matches up with your business as you type it. And again, the link that it gives you goes straight to the review, but that's not actually the one that we're going to be using. Um, we're going to shorten it even further with Bitly. So, uh, if you click here, it sends the URL to the uh, cl uh, clipboard. And again, that link is going to bring them right into Google, right into drop the review, stars, review, post. Next, here's Bitly. Um, Bitly, I've been using it forever. Uh, it works. Um, it's great for tracking. Uh, you know, if you want to see how many people have gone to a... Uh, a review link. If you have all of your clients on one account, you can see which of the clients are actually giving out the review cards. People are visiting the review links. You drop your long URL from WhiteSpark here, 
And then after you create it, you can shorten it up. Uh, you know, obviously you don't want to give this URL out to a client and uh, you give this URL and then uh, you put it into Bitly. And after you put it into Bitly and click create, you're going to shorten it up and you're going to make it, you know, bit.ly, B-I-T dot L-Y slash, uh, you know, the name of the business, all type sign. Pretty simple. And it looks good on the card because you're going to print that on the card as well as the uh, QR code because some people are going to do it old school and they're going to type it into their home computer or their laptop, whatever. Other people are going to use the QR code. Okay. We're going to take the URL from that bit.ly generates and we're going to make a QR code out of it. So the QR code is QR.io. And uh, the real strong suit of QR codes is people will use their camera on their phone to to uh, visit them. So they're most likely going to leave the review via their phone. Uh, that's the real strong suit. And they don't have to type a URL to start the whole process. So it does give more mobile reviews. And basically, you just enter your URL from Bitly. And you click Generate QR Code. You can download it if you want to have the actual file for printing, etc. Um, or for including in an email, whatever. Um, and when this does generate, <clears throat> you do want to uh, test it with your phone to make sure that it goes to the proper URL. And as soon as you go into your camera on your phone, show it up to that uh, QR code, it should tell you that it's going to visit this URL. Lastly, Primo Print. That's who I do all my printing with, and I recommend that you use these guys. They're just quick and simple. They have a great uh, interface as far as dropping, you know, stuff that you generate with any of your graphic design programs, or if you outsource that, I wouldn't outsource it. Make one template, make it real simple, and just change the text for the new clients. Um, put your uh, logo on one side, put your uh, review information on the other uh, again spell out you know I need geo I need service I need the brand name put your QR code and your shortened URL um, if you look here it's 500 uh, 500 cards for 50 bucks pretty good price um, and they do ship them nicely to you and uh, the other thing is make sure that you order matte postcards they do offer glossy postcards, and glossy sounds nice, but it does interfere with some camera's abilities to be able to uh, shoot the QR code properly. So, uh, you know, I'd probably steer clear of the uh, glossy postcards. Um, Primo Print does a great job, and again, they have a, a feature on their website that when you submit the artwork, you just drop a JPEG or PSD file or whatever, onto their site and they show you, you know, camera ready artwork and you're good to go and they get it to you in a couple of days. And for 50 bucks, they do have a uh, set here. I think it's a little bit too small for most clients that they do a hundred for like $22 or $23. I normally do the 500 and uh, it also puts the uh, burden on your client to make sure that they get some uh, reviews because you now they have 500 cards, get rid of them, you know, get get them out to the people's hands. Um, final review card tips. Keep it simple. Don't put any additional info on the card. Don't start spelling out your service areas or, you know, a whole bunch of other things. Keep it simple. Tell them just the basics that you need them to do to get the review out there. Um, teach clients, uh, teach your clients that when they're giving their clients a review card, um, there's a specific time and place, you know, when they're elated with the results or they're very happy with the price, or, you know, or, you know, there's a time and place to give the card and they need to strike when the iron's hot. Um, that's very important. You know, that's going to uh, boost the success rate of the reviews, um, of getting the actual reviews. And uh, allow the clients to take the card with them. Don't do the review at the office. More often than not, um, I, I didn't mention this to clients, and they were getting review cards, and they were sitting down with clients at one of their workstations in their office, in which case their IP wasn't a mobile IP, and uh, they 
reviews were coming all from their office. So they weren't extending their proximity by having the people who traveled a half hour from, you know, another town to come utilize their services. Let them travel a half hour home, place a review so that you extend your proximity out to that area. Um, again, uh, matte cards, not glossy. Glossy lowers the success rate for a QR code. That was a screw up that we did and people did complain about it and you know, it, it's a cheaper card anyway. So that's the better way to do it. So uh, any questions or uh, concerns, any uh, constructive criticism, things that you do that I'm not doing, you know, leave it in the comments and uh, like and subscribe. There's more coming soon. Thanks a lot. Take care.